Hey everyone, Trey Mc here, and today I'm excited to highlight some of Magnet Review's latest updates. As you can see, we're already currently logged into Magnet Review, and I'm on my dashboard view so I can see all of my cases. The first thing I want to call your attention to is that we've moved our global features from the left side of the screen over to the top bar, so it's really given us a lot more real estate when it comes to reviewing evidence. In addition to those global features, we've also moved the settings menu to the top as well. So up here in the right hand corner, when I hit settings, here you can see we can add and change users. For this instance of Magnet Review, we have our artifact configuration. So here, once again, for our artifact priority, we can select the types of artifacts and then whether or not they're going to be shown as a primary or a secondary. And really, this is allowing for those non-technical stakeholders who you know may just need to see the basic information. This is allowing you to kind of set that information so that you know they're you're not seeing all the data fields right off the bat. I'm going to leave everything as is. Some of these additional settings includes our audit log and then the system reports from Magnet Review as well too. So another new update with Review is really going to be around the navigation and we've kind of reworked that. So I'm going to hit my home button here and for this case we're going to look at the case 030-08 Dante with four evidence sources on that. Now I'm going to select that information. Here you can see we have multiple pieces of evidence uh, included. We have a DMG of a MacBook Air. We've got a full file system from a gray key extraction in addition to a keychain and an Apple warrant return. Now for this particular case, we can actually do a quick search of a keyword across all of our evidence sources all at one time. So for this, I'm gonna actually say, I want to look up employee. And why I'm looking up employee is there's a document that Dante is believed to have removed from his work device that we want to see if we can find in some of these pieces of evidence. And as you can see, we do in fact have some hits here. On the full file system zip, I'm going to go ahead and select documents. And here you can see we have some information with a dot numbers extension. And then we have an Excel documents file here as well too. I'm going to select that one. Now within Magnet Review, you can see we get a very quick view of what's found within that Excel document. Here we can see we have some credit card information, some social security numbers, first name, last name, email, all relevant information here. I might want to dig a little further and see, okay, we, we have a file name, but we also have an MD5 hash. So I'm actually going to just quickly copy that. Now using the new navigation, you can see we are in Dante. We have our evidence source listed. We're inside the category of documents, and we're looking at a detail of one of those documents. But I'm going to go back to just the case view. I'm going to clear the employee search. And this time I'm actually going to apply the MD5 hash that we just found. And I'm going to search that. And sure enough, we have now found, it uh, looks like a match within the Mac and the phone that we just looked at in addition to the Apple or return. So good information that we very quickly and easily identified within this case. Now, in addition to revamping the user experience and really the UI to really make it look and feel a lot more like, honestly, you're using Axiom or Portable Case in the cloud, the ability of doing these searches and having the search bars across the top and being able to stack those filters so we can say employee, we could add on an additional piece too. So maybe we have an employee and maybe we know one of the names that's found within that document. We could say Jody. Sure enough, looks like we have some hits and we can dig into that very quickly and see that we are getting a hit within that document again and we can find that name. But as you see at the top, just like you would within Axiom, you can see the different search terms that we've added and that they're stacked right now for this. So I could go ahead and say, you know what, I want to mark that of interest. So in addition to updating the user experience with a very clean and easy interface that, like I said, kind of reminds me of using Axiom, we've also made it easier for examiners to collaborate with their stakeholders who are using Magnet Review. So as an examiner, you're probably going to be in Axiom. And as you can see, I have Axiom pulled up. And now what I want to show is how quickly you can collaborate now with users that are in review. So for instance, I'm reviewing evidence of this case. I scroll down and let's look inside the secret photo vault. And as we do this, I'm going to go ahead and switch this view over to the thumbnail view. Here you can see all the different pictures. We have a picture of a weapon. I tag that of interest. I've also added a comment on need to identify who owns these. And with the latest update of Axiom and Review, you can now, when you push your Axiom case file to review for investigators, they can see this information. So you can say, hey, I tagged some evidence. I need you to look at this and the investigator potential leads to uh, navigate down. So if I hop right back over to Magnet Review, I'm going to go ahead and clear my earlier filters here. And with this, I'm just going to select tags and say, I want to look at of interest. Fine. Here you can see we have a piece of media. 
that's been tagged. And when I select that, you can see the same image that I tagged with an Axiom along with the comments that have been ingested from Axiom as well. So now that I've uploaded this case into review, I can just simply let the investigator know, drop down your tags, look at your files that are of interest. I need you to do a deeper dive on these. Thanks for tuning in and we'll look to see you next time. Thanks.